Hey guys, welcome to question FM332 of the Further Maths Fortify Study Guide. This question reads, a triangle ABC has, and then we've got three dot points, one side AB of length six centimeters, one side BC of length seven centimeters, and one length ACB of 44 degrees, sorry, and one angle of ACB of 44 degrees. So, uh, it then goes on to say which one of the following angles correct to the nearest degree could not, could not be another angle in triangle ABC. And then we're given five options, uh, which is sort of your first clue as to what's going on in this question. Now, it might seem weird to some of you to have five options from the get-go, but we'll talk about it a little bit. So... The triangles that we could be looking at here, once you've had a bit of a play with these, you might come to a similar conclusion, which is we can actually create two triangles from the information that we've been given. So if we were to look at sides C, B, A, what we might find about this triangle is that this length is going to be seven, this length here, six, and this angle in here, 44. There is another triangle that we can have that follows these same rules because this is telling us that the length C to B is 7, B to A is 6. Uh, this, this length along here is unknown, but we've got an angle of 44 here. The other potential triangle we could draw is instead of writing B to A down here, we could have a B to A down this way. Looking at these uh, two different triangles we can do, what I'm going to do is split them up into their two separate triangles. So I'm going to draw triangle looks like this over here. So we've got B, A, C, this angle 44 degrees, seven and six. And over here, I'm going to draw the smaller triangle, C, B, A, and we've got six, seven and 44 degrees. So we're going to start with this triangle over here. We can use the sine rule to uh, solve what this unknown angle is going to be down here. And then we can use that to help us find angle B. So angle A we're going to find by using sine 44 over 6 is equal to sine of A over 7. Rearranging all of this, we should get that A is going to be equal to arc sine of 7 times sine 44 over 6. Plugging that into a calculator and rounding it to the nearest whole degree is going to give us 54 degrees for angle A. So we get a 54 here. Which of course, if we then use these two to find B, B is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus 54 plus 44 degrees, which leaves us with 82 degrees for B in this triangle. Now here, finding the angles in this triangle is a little bit more tricky, however, not too much more. Going back to our original little diagram here, if we were to treat this triangle uh, as an isosceles triangle, since both of these lengths would have to be six, what we would notice is that this angle in here we found to be 54 degrees, which would mean that this angle here, in order to be an isosceles triangle, would also have to be 54 degrees. And this angle, our new angle A over in this question, is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus this 54 degrees. So we can find our other potential angles by looking at A being equal to 180 minus the 54 value that we got from it earlier. Well, we got four angle A earlier. So A could also be 126 degrees, which means that B could also be 180 minus 126 plus 44. So since we've got 126 degrees in here, which is the same as 126 degrees there. We can now use 180 degrees, take away these two, 
and we should end up with an answer of 10 degrees. Looking through all of your options, you'll notice that the only one that we haven't been able to find here is option B, 46 degrees. This is a tricky one guys, so if you have any questions for us, please drop them in the comments below, otherwise I will see you in the next video.